Hey everyone, it's the Geeks from the Geeks of Finance. Today we are talking about a trade we took in Amazon where we netted 9% on our portfolio in just a number of days. You can see Amazon having a big ramp up here all the way tagging the 200 level earlier this morning. So we just wanna go through how we find these trades ahead of time and give you guys a little bit of insight into our strategy and methodology. So let's jump right in. If we just zoom in here, you can see these purple bars are the gamma exposure levels and Amazon just barely tagging the 200 strike earlier today. We actually exited our trade yesterday on this big ramp up here for a 9% profit. Most of those gains coming yesterday. Obviously, Amazon coming right into that 200 strike. So how exactly did we find this play ahead of time? We actually posted this as an idea on June 18th. And you can see here, we're highlighting the 190 and the 200 strikes here. Amazon at this point was actually trading at 182.79. Amazon had a little bit of a decline over the past few trading sessions up to that point. And so we were suggesting that these large gamma exposure concentrations were going to cause price to gravitate up into them over the coming days. When we look at our 3D gamma exposure surface model, most of the gamma exposure was concentrated both in the June 19th expiration, which was represented by this large spike up here, but we were more focused in the July 19th expiration, which actually showed the 200 strike, and this was actually the 190 strike, both in the July 19th expiration. And so the hypothesis for our trade was that coming into the early part of July, Amazon had a really good shot of going from 182.79 up into that 200 strike. This is right around the time where we actually posted the idea in Discord. Of course, at that point, the gamma exposure structure was slightly different. If you recall, the 190 was the larger gamma exposure concentration and the 200 was also large, but not quite as large at that point. So given a couple of weeks time going into July from this point forward, we had a really good shot of tagging these large gamma exposure concentrations. You could see even the volume, this is today's volume, but this is what it looked like for the last week. These blue bars here represent the volume by strike price. We had good, decent volume every single day coming in between 190 and 200. Even today, we still have pretty good volume at these levels, which really caused this last leg here this morning to ultimately tag that 200 level. So you can see it did take a few days for this to play out. There was a bit of a consolidation period, but once it really began to ramp and break out, that 190 and 200 strike, you know, basically serve as our target points. So now let's take a look at the trade itself. If we come down here to our portfolio tracker, you can see we've got a, a few positions on in the portfolio right now. We've been running this ever since February of this year, so a little over four months. Currently, just to give you an idea, we are up 79% cumulative gains on the year. This is a $10,000 portfolio. So, you know, about the average size of most retail traders. And so we just try to, you know, show you that there are ways strategies and methodologies that even retail traders with modest accounts can actually see significant returns. Obviously not every week is up, but over time, the trend of the strategy is higher up until this most recent week where we're up 79%. So that represents $7,900 in gains on our $10,000 portfolio. If we come down here to our historical trades, we just log these you know, for reference, but you can see all the trades we've put on over the last several months. The last one here is Amazon. That was a trade that took place over the course of eight days from June 18th, exiting just yesterday on June 26th. $904 profit. This was a July 19th expiration. So we had a number of weeks that we could go if we wanted to, to really let this play out. Our max risk was $3.50 per spread. We put on two of those, so about $700. And if we just scroll down here, you can see as we uh, actually exited the trade, we locked in $8.10. So this is over 250% gain on that $3.50 initial risk per spread. So that's essentially what we do. We scan for large gamma exposure concentrations. We look for consolidations or slight pullbacks 
in positive gamma exposure environments, which gives us a little room to take advantage of potential pops back into these major levels. Even when we're looking down here on the weekly GEX flow, this is analyzing the weekly contracts, which actually expire tomorrow uh, on Amazon. This red line here highlights the 200 strike. And for today's move, around 1145, the 200 strike started ramping up. And you can see that's really where that was at the open of this big green candle here where Amazon was trading at $196, signaling that the $200 strike was becoming extremely probable for a tag today. And that's what essentially happened just an hour later. Now let's just dive into what we see in the market and look at a little bit of the data uh, underlying some of these gamma exposure levels. I'm gonna pass the screen share over to my partner, Sean. Sean, go ahead and take it away. Yeah, so let's look at SPX, which uh, sometimes looks a little bit different than SPY as far as the actual gamma structure, uh, even though the charts will look similar as far as price movement. And interesting divergence, if you look around the 17th, we had basically a, a short-term market top and a little spike higher, but then we basically moved sideways this entire time. So you know, effectively 10 days of moving sideways. This light blue chart over here shows option volume. We have noticed for more than one day, we've had some option interest, at least at this 5550 level. And we do have a negative divergence, interestingly, with the, the GEX levels on SPX. So even though price has been moving sideways since the 17th, we actually have a GEX which is still positive. Um, if we have a GEX above 1 billion, we look at that as a positive bullish trend, you know, strong GEX. So we're still above a billion, but it, it has declined. So we've got GEX dropping with, you know, the market moving sideways. And of course, we're at the end of the quarter. So it's not a good time to be very aggressive with positioning because you just don't know what can happen with rebalancing. Different institutions make moves that have nothing to do with the fundamental view of the market. You know, and we had a strong quarter, so there may be some painting of the tape. There may be some window dressing where different institutions want to show that they own certain things, like NVIDIA, for instance. But we've had very small corrections for so long. You know, we're personally looking at hedging our exposure. Even though we're finding long ideas that we like, we're wanting to hedge that with a form of protection because volatility is low. And we've started to see our GEX weighted volatility gauge creep up. So it seems like it's a good time to add protection. So we're, we're trying to set up various positions with asymmetric risk rewards so that even in a variety of market environments, whether up or down, we're going to have something that carries the weight of the portfolio and helps us to see some growth. By the way, if you guys are interested in accessing the tools on our dashboard, come over to geeksoffinance.com. You can get access to our gamma exposure dashboard as well as our Geek University. We have a five hour uh, option strategy GEX focused course. We talk about the basics uh, intro to options, volatility, game exposure, as well as our proprietary trading methodology. Definitely check that out. Um, you can also access our Discord by just coming over here to the top and hopping in here. We have a lot of great conversation, a lot of great trade ideas being shared between our members and a lot of great traders here in the room. So you definitely want to check that out when you get a chance. That's it for this video. Let us know uh, your thoughts in the comment section below, and we will see you guys in the next video.